All right, so right now I was browsing through the interwebs and I came across this quiz slash test and it pretty much said, are you a true Pokemon fan? And I got curious, I clicked on it and the questions were way too easy. Like the first question was, who is the professor from the first games, the first region? Obviously it's Professor Oak. So I'm like, you know, those are too easy. I'm gonna look up some harder questions. So I Googled true Pokemon fan quiz, whatever test. And I found some that popped up and I looked through the first couple of questions. Some of the questions are easy, but some of them kind of made me think and I'm like, you know what? Before I look at the rest of the questions, I want to get on video and take the quiz. You know, see if I am a true Pokemon fan and you guys can play along, take the quiz with me. And I want to point something out. I like Pokemon. I love Pokemon, but I only know about the first three regions, Kanto, Johto, and Hoenn. So if you ask me about the later generations, especially after Generation 5, I'm gonna have no idea like what the Pokemon names are or anything about it, you know? So hopefully I do good on these quizzes, but I don't expect myself to do that good, all right? So let's look at this first quiz. We're gonna look over two of them. All right, so the first question, what were the original three Candle Starter Pokemon? This one's really easy, too easy. Obviously it's Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. All right, number two, how many towns and cities are in the Kanto region? All right, so if I think about the cities and towns in Kanto, there's the towns with the gyms, which is eight, plus the starter town, Paddle Town, that's nine, and then um, Lavender City doesn't have a gym, so that's 10. So I'm gonna go with 10. I'm pretty sure it's 10. Number three, you can catch Wild Mankey in only one generation two Pokemon game, but which one? <laughs> See, this one's hard, I don't know this one. Um, you can only catch a Wild Mankey in one, Generation 2 Pokemon game, but which one? I'm gonna go with the Silver version. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Silver version. Oh gosh, I, I, I don't know. I really don't know this one. I feel like I should know. Number four, what Pokemon type does Gym Leader Claire of the Johto region specialize in? This one's easy. Dragon type. In Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, what Pokemon can be found in Route 101? Um, that's one of the first routes, and I'm gonna go with Zigzagoon and Puchiana. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Uh, I'm pretty sure Route 101 is like the first route. Number six, at what level does Chimchar evolve into Monferno? Alright, see, so this question right here says I didn't play Gen 4. I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna go with level 18. We'll go with level 18. Yeah, because normally the grass type is level 14. No, level 16. We're gonna go with level 16. I'm changing it. Level 16. Number 7. Who is the champion of the Sinnoh region? I'm gonna go with Cynthia on this one. Because I don't know who Alder is. Never heard of him. Alright, number 8. How many legendary Pokemon are there in Pokemon Black and White? <laughs> oh, geez. This is where I'm gonna start failing. Um, yo, I have no idea, man. I'm gonna go with... C Let's go with seven. I'm going with seven. Seven seems like a good number. Number nine. Who is the Pokemon professor in the Kalos region? Um, the Kalos region. That's ah oh man. This is what I mean. These are hard for me right now. I'm gonna go with Professor Sycamore because Birch is Jodo. Juniper. I feel like it's either fourth or fifth gen. So I'm going with Sycamore. Number ten. Which of the Hoenn region starter Pokemon has a four times super effective weakness? Swampert because he's a water slash ground type and both of those types are weak against grass. Alright, so let's look at my first test results. I hope I got at least half right. I mean, out of 10 questions, who knows. And I answered 7 out of 10, which isn't bad. That's a 70% that's passing. That's like a solid D. I'll take it. I can get a diploma with that. And this is right here on average, a thousand users who took the quiz got an average of 5 or 6. So I'm above average. So. Boom, take that, what's so, up, get on my level. All right, so the second quiz is called, are you the Pokemon super fan? Let's find out. So the first question, which of the following Pokemon was introduced before its generation was announced? It's gotta be Togepi. Correct, great, okay, thank you. Next, which is the current last Pokemon in the Pokedex? Um, I think if I remember correctly, it's that Pokemon that looks kind of like a ninja. I think he's black and white, and I think his name started with the C, so I'm gonna go with Zara Aura. Correct, bravo. Boom, come on. Next. In which of the following regions did Ash have a 
fully evolved pseudo legendary Pokemon. Ah, crap. Fully evolved pseudo legendary Pokemon. Was it Garchomp? I'm gonna go with Garchomp in the Sinnoh region. Mmm, incorrect. Come on, man. Hey, I don't keep up with the anime, so I have a good excuse. Incorrect. Keep trying. Next. How many regions has Brock traveled with Ash? Wow, this is gonna... I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know. I'm gonna go with four because we do see Brock a lot in the anime. Like the, the times I do tune into the anime, he always shows up or you, you, like you see him. Yeah, we'll go with four. Correct, how many reach? Boom, come on. Get... Mm. Next, question number five. What relation does Getsis have to end? <laughs> Yo, this one I definitely don't know, but I'm gonna go with, uh, father, because why not? Correct, good try. Yeah, yeah, I admit it, I have no idea. But I know that N, the character N, he's a badass, just from things that I read on the internet. Alright, next question, number six. Which of the following Pokemon makes a ring of flowers for itself and gives it to the person it likes? That's cute. I'm gonna go with... Comfy. Because the other two choices, Chansey and Blissey, I don't think so. Audino, I have no idea what that is. So let's go with Comfy. Correct. I think I'm doing pretty good. I hope I'm doing pretty good. Question number seven. What is the legendary creation trio based on? I know this one. I haven't played Gen 4, but I know this one. It's time, space, and anti-matter. Bruh. Wait, hold up. Get out of here. Ah, uh, that's that's a trick question. Time, space, and antimatter in the states. Get out of here. That 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 tricked me. All right, number eight. Which Pokemon was banned from Ubers in Pokemon VGC? Uh, I don't know what Pokemon VGC is. Virtual GameCube, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, do you guys know this answer? Because I feel like you guys don't know this answer. Like, give me the answer, because I feel like you don't know it. But I'm gonna go with Mewtwo. Incorrect. Keep trying. All right. Question number nine. Which Pokemon is known as the Onion Fairy Pokemon? Oddish is an onion, Clefairy is a fairy, Lucario is neither, Celebi is an onion fairy. Celebi. <laughs> Boom, what's up? Next, the last question. Which of Brock's Pokemon fell in love with Mawile? Mawile is Generation 3, so I'm gonna go with... Crobat. I hope it's Crobat. Incorrect, sorry. Mm, whatever. I feel like I got half right. Let's see. Certificate of Achievement. Got a score of 50 out of 100, so that's half right. Am I a Pokemon Super fan? I am not. I am just a regular fan. Those were the quiz. I mean, those questions were pretty hard. Like, compared to like that first quiz I took, like that I saw like when I was browsing the internet, these were pretty hard. But yeah, how'd you guys do? Drop a comment. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace out.